हेलो ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एडियाबेटिक मिक्सिंग ऑफ टू स्ट्रेन्स सो इन दिस कंसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट ड्यूरिंग एनी एयर कंडीशनिंग प्रोसेस और ड्यूरिंग एनी एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम हाउ द एयर आर और द एयर स्ट्रीम्स आर मिक्स्ड समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज वी रिक्वायर ए सर्टन लोअर डिग्री ऑफ एयर बट वी गेट ए temperature which is lower than the requirement so some additional higher temperature air is to be mixed and in order to get the desired uh, room condition in any air conditioning system the concept is coming into existence that is the adiabatic mixing of two air streams so uh, what we are considering in this case is uh, this is an uh, air stream number 1 that is the area through which the air is passing and this is the second air stream that is the pipe through which the air is passing so these are one and two air streams so in these two air streams uh, the mass then the enthalpy and specific humidity is defined at that particular point that is m1 h1 and w1 m2 h2 and w2 then uh, there is one point here the where the two air streams meet that is from point 1 and point 2 so we have mentioned the point as number 3 so when these two air streams are mixed the outgoing air stream will have a certain another properties which will be having m3 h3 and w3 so this is the first uh, conceptual diagram of this when we are going to draw in the uh, psychrometric chart this is the psychrometric chart which is uh, drawn and it is showing the adiabatic mixing of two air streams so we can see that the three point is the mixing point air from stream number 1 is coming downwards air from stream number 2 is coming upwards and therefore 1 and 2 are mixing at point number 3 having a certain specific property of the air so this is uh, the, this adiabatic mixing of stream is shown in this particular psychrometric chart so now we will uh, see how the derivation is carried out for the adiabatic mixing of uh, two air streams so uh, first the conceptual diagram when uh, two quantities of air having different enthalpies and different specific humidities are mixed the final condition of air mixture depends upon the masses involved and on the enthalpy and specific humidity of each of constituent masses which enter the mixture so in the theory which you have just now explained it is mentioned here that when two quantities of air are mixed at the various properties we can get the required desired desired third uh, particular property of the air so uh, let us consider the two air streams 1 and 2 as we have explained mixing adiabatically so let m1 is mass of air entering at 1 h1 is enthalpy of air entering at 1 w1 is specific humidity of air entering at 1 and similarly we have written in short here m2 h2 and w2 are at points 2 m3 h3 and w3 are at point 1 the assumption uh, in this uh, kind of derivation is made as assuming no loss of enthalpy and specific humidity during air mixing process because there will be no any uh, we are considering the ideal flow of the uh, particular air stream so no loss, loss of enthalpy and the specific humidity is taken so conceptually as per the diagram we can write directly that m1 plus m2 is equal to m3 we are calling this as equation number 1 then when we are taking into consideration energy balance we are required to take enthalpy so for energy balance m1 into h1 m2 into h2 is equal to m3 into h3 it will be the equation number 2 second now when we have to balance the mass of water vapor we have to take specific humidity so for mass balance of water vapor we are having m1 w1 plus m2 w2 is equal to m3 w3 that is called as equation number 3 so now what we have to do substituting the value of m3 from equation 1 in equation 2 equation number 1 here you are having the value of m3 as m1 plus m2 so that we have to put in second equation here first so what the second equation is there m1 h1 this is the equation m1 h1 plus m2 h2 plus m3 h3 so what we have to do is instead of m3 now here 
we have to put m1 plus m2 so we have done same way m1 h1 plus m2 h2 is equal to m1 plus m2 into h3 m3 is replaced by m1 plus m2 so therefore m1 h1 remains as it is m2 h2 remains as it is is equal to m1 h3 plus m2 h3 just multiplying this in the inside bracket so m1 h uh, m1 terms and m2 terms are taken at their sides so m1 h1 minus m1 h3 is equal to m2 h3 minus m2 h2 so now what happens is taking m1 common from these two terms so m1 h1 minus h3 is equal to taking m2 common from these two terms so m2 h3 minus h2 and then therefore the ratio of the specific heats that is m1 divided by m2 is equal to h3 divided h3 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h3 so this is the equation number 4 then uh, similarly what we have to do is substituting the value of m3 from equation 1 in equation 3 so now we were having the mass balance equation so therefore m1 w1 plus m2 w2 is equal to m3 w3 so again m3 is replaced by m1 plus m2 so therefore m1 w1 plus m2 w2 is equal to m1 w3 plus m2 w3 similarly m1 w1 minus m1 w3 that is taking m terms m1 terms at left hand side m2 terms at right hand side therefore m1 divided by m2 is equal to w3 minus w2 divided by w1 minus w3 in calling this as equation number 5 and from equation number 4 and 5 we get m1 divided by m2 equal to h3 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h3 similarly it is equal to w3 minus w2 divided by w1 minus w2 w1 minus w3